Hey guys, Jonathan here, and if the 2016 MacBook Pro looks anything like this, one might consider it to be a good day. So we're about halfway through the year, which means we are long overdue for a MacBook Pro refresh. There is of course the usual rumors and speculation of better specs, better performance, although we're not quite sure if it's headed down the Skylake path or the KB Lake path, but in one way or another, the MacBook Pro will be powered by some body of water. Now performance on these MacBook Pros is one thing, but what potentially may be the game changer is the implementation of an OLED panel. Initially, there were some leaked photos of the MacBook chassis that hinted at the possibility of an OLED panel, but then this insanely talented dude, Martin Hajek, and I apologize if I butchered your name, dropped some of the most beautiful renders I have ever seen. For starters, the MacBook Pro in the render is space gray, and if that happens, I will Randy Johnson my money at the screen. He actually destroyed, he killed a bird one time. So initially what would make most sense is for the OLED panel to replace the function keys, but Martin took it a step further. In this particular image, the OLED panel replaces the menu bar, so you can see user login information, the time, battery life, Wi-Fi, and if it does indeed replace the menu bar, you would in turn get more screen real estate. Now in this image, he is using Spotify as an example of potential application control, and how cool would that be, sliding the volume bar up instead of tapping those damn annoying pops? And beyond that, he shows how apps like Transmission could work so you could actively see an encode progress bar instead of having that in the background of your computer. So in my case, I'm picturing the potential of something like Final Cut Pro 10 with shortcuts and hotkeys, but also imagine seeing that export fly by on that OLED panel. So Tim Cook, Johnny Ive, if you are watching, please, Please, with a British accent, make it happen. And getting back to the original renders, and more importantly, the leaked photo, this also showcases the possible inclusion of four USB-C ports. Now, it's also worth mentioning that these USB-C ports could also potentially include Thunderbolt 3 functionality. That would make it interesting, especially if Apple does drop a 5K Thunderbolt display with a GPU built in. And if that is the case, I might potentially have to house myself with the MacBook Pro and Thunderbolt display. Beyond that, the overall idea with the USB-C port with Thunderbolt functionality, it's gonna be the one-stop shop for cables. You guys caught a glimpse of that with my perfect MacBook setup where the Acer monitor acted as both the dock and the power for the 12-inch MacBook. So if this comes to the MacBook Pro, you can expect many more awesome possibilities like that. Now jumping back to the renders, one more thing worth mentioning is that these are based off the 13-inch MacBook Pro. And what's interesting is it shows the speakers in a configuration much like the 15-inch MacBook Pro. The 13-inch MacBook Pro speakers are definitely mess. This would be a welcome improvement. But all in all, it is looking very promising for the 2016 MacBook Pro. So if you guys are not subscribed, make sure to do that. When the 2016 MacBook Pro drops, there will be a ton of coverage. And if you missed it, Dream Desk 3 dropped with a chance to win this beauty of a retro MacBook. This is Jonathan, and I will catch you guys later. One might consider it to be a good day.